Hello people, it's Liam Caddison here and we're reacting to another episode of Arcane as we get into episode number five as we enter the second half of this fantastic show. It's just been brilliant, it's been entertaining and it's had me um, gripped because it's just been a fantastic story so far and I'm excited to see uh, how these next uh, bunch of episodes uh, proceed, especially with the last episode featuring a bit of a time skip uh, from episode three where we have some people who have prevailed, some not so much. We found out what Powder, now going by the name seemingly of Jinx, has been up to uh, ever since Silco took her under his wing so yeah and uh, a bit of a deja vu moment for her although a bit more of a successful one in her case from episode one uh, with the hex tech crystal so yeah but uh, I am looking forward to um, continuing this especially since we caught up at the end of the episode with Vi who is in prison so I'm looking forward to getting into this episode so with that said let's get into episode number five of Arcane let's go to be of service to the city. That's trophy enough. Begs the question, young Kerman. Do you want What are it? you shooting for? Hmm. What's your goals? Do you want to be in a respected position? She's not quite feeling that as well. I took a look at your file. There's no record of you. Can you just send in whoever's gonna kick the shit out of me so I can get on with my night? Oh, he's just defeated, isn't she? I mean, Does you understand. Mean to you? <sighs> Thunder said he's gonna eat you alive. You could do with Vi's help. I've got orders from Councillor Talis concerning inmate 516. There we go. There we go. Sons. Oh. Daughters. But to all, they are heroes. It's heartbreaking, really. Like, especially in, when you look at, you know, the children. You're just doing their jobs and... I hope you can remain a part of it. He just thinks he's in bed with Sulko, but... All their families. From an anonymous concerned citizen. Innocence, you know, for Marcus's uh, perspective, just perished and he's had enough. Oh, shit. And some flashbacks as well. That's such a cool shot. Nice jacket. She's gonna smack their asses. <laughs> Welcome to the lanes. You almost got me killed. My little sister could do that when she was seven. All us fisher folk can. Don't you want to blend in? Oh! Still not following. They think. They adapt. You think Hextech can learn? Evolve, really. And... Are you sure this is safe? Of course not. <laughs> hey, no point beating around the bush, right? And in so doing, put a target on your back. There are those who covet your power over the wealth the Hexgates afford and would take any opportunity to seize it from you. You've just made yourself everyone's common enemy, Jace. Oh, poor Jace. He's stuck in a rut, isn't he? <laughs> just a bird. <laughs> It was just a bird. I'm gonna say I'm in awe with the animation. Oh, 
Oh, oh, oh my goodness. Still, still filled with trauma and yeah. Time to prove them all wrong, once again. <sighs> Welcome, Amara. Is this How's really going to? Counselor Madarda. I keep. It, 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 it's like Jace has been He's pushed to sell his soul. <laughs> I had quite a shock this morning. Oh. I feel like this is all gonna bite him on the ass. You're hot, Cupcake. So what'll it be, man or woman? Um. Oh. Hi. Oh. I I'm Pam. What's your name? Matilda. Ah. Uh, you can call her whatever you want. <laughs> oh. Yes, Matilda. My parents named me Matilda after my... Mm -hmm. Imagining yourself a hero. One final act to make you the martyr you've always seen yourself as. <laughs> oh, shit! His limits have been pushed. Waiting for. Oh, yeah. Of course. Of course. The Madadas usually only take from the world. We're not often in the position to give anything back. I couldn't have done it without you. Oh, sh oh, sh oh! <laughs> yeah, this will seal the deal for Jace. You headed home soon? I thought we could walk together. I'm uh, damn victory. I'm going to sleep here tonight. Again. Oh. You know, there's always tomorrow, right? Good night, Miss Young. Oh, Victor! Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Okay, okay, I was gonna say, is it a is it tampering with the blood? Oh shit! What the heck? I was on a trip! Just like you were always meant to be. This is... This is... No, no... It's a way... To cure her... Oh... We got a bunch of dragons in Arcane! Hextech's gonna fix him, isn't it? Oh shit! Oh, oh, oh no, oh no! It's not gonna stop her though from getting revenge. Okay, Bucky. Oh, oh, come on, bye. You mean Jinx? She works for him. <gasps> oh. <laughs> 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 
Oh, come on. She's like his daughter. Yeah, that's gonna sting, not just the injury. Run. You wanna run. You wanna run. You can help me out, Cupcake. Stop calling me that. Uh. My name's Caitlin. But you're so sweet. Like a cupcake. Shut up. I'm shipping! I'm shipping! I don't care! I don't care! Someone's reborn. She's back. From the dead. Funny thing is, she wasn't dead, my buddy. Oh, man. It's getting really, really juicy, though. Like, um, we have, we have a re, well, I guess a reborn Jinx. I'm, get, I'm assuming Silco's way to try and cure her kind of paid off. Although he's got more things to worry about now that Vi has, uh, well, Vi and Kate, they, um, they managed to um, put one over on his enforcers, so. But, yeah. Jace? Yeah, it's it's a bit of a risky situation for him. Um, and I'm assuming there's going to be a lot of guilt uh, going around in terms of um, what's happening to Victor. Although I feel like, especially with how the um, um, how his device connected with his blood, that's going to be able to save him in some capacity. It's going to live to what he uh, to what he stated it should. Um, it should impact the lives. It should help those in need. So, um, yeah, but I'm, and, and I'm, I'm shipping Caitlin and, and Vi. I am so shipping them. They have, they have such a fun chemistry. And she called her cupcake. And, yeah. So I don't care. Them two. It's going to be really, really interesting to see where things go now that Vi has an inkling about uh, Jinx and how Silco has practically adopted her. So, yeah, but superb episode where things getting a bit more tense uh, again uh, in the Undercity and uh, top side, of course, um, especially with Jace. Um, in a bit of a rut, um, having to um, join the system in order to prosper and not have a target on his back, essentially. Um, which is ultimately going to kick him up the arse, I, I feel. Um, well, it's already kind of did with the fact that um, he initially wanted to root out any kind of corruption that was going on. Um, and... Um, thanks to, uh, uh, and, um, yeah, thanks, uh, thanks, uh, thanks to some interesting advice that led to some, mm -hmm. um, yeah, he basically was told, yeah, I've enjoyed the system or you get disposed of, basically. So, yeah. Jay's getting lucky, though. Bloody hell. Um, no, but uh, it, it's definitely going to... Um, it's definitely going to kick him up the backside. But like I said, it's already done so in a sense because Victor uh, has gotten increasingly ill, which we saw in the last episode. He wasn't feeling too great, but this t time it took a, a turn for the worst as um, he is basically admitting that he is dying. Although, like I said, I feel like the Hex Tech, especially with the fact that it um, reacted with his blood, I feel like that is going to be pretty fundamental in terms of saving him, especially with the fact that uh, Victor was so hell-bent on trying to turn Jace into um, uh, the attention on looking out for those in need, looking out for the Undercity, etc. Um, 
and Jace being so um, so content in terms of trying to root out any kind of uh, corruption within the uh, within the councillors. Um, yeah. So. But yeah, it's it's all about trying to do because he this is his opportunity as well. It's all about trying to impress, do the right thing, and um, have his technology prosper. But he has to. He has to sell his soul, basically, and that's what he is doing, sadly, so, yeah. I mean, obviously, there is that manipulation from um, that woman, I can't remember her name, but, um, yeah, um, it, it is a very, very sad circumstance for Jace because um, you go back to episode two and how he's been so determined. He he was so inspiring and now he has this moment and now he is being told, basically, you got to let things slide. You got to bend the rules a bit if you want to prosper and all will be well. You won't have this target on your back. However, if you continue doing the shit you're doing, if you try to root out any more kind of corruption uh, that is going on, then it's not looking good for you, uh, my boy. So, yeah. But, so it's it's a very, very difficult situation. Um, especially when Victor is so hell-bent on trying to improve lives. And that's the same with, with that that that's the same with Jace really in terms of trying to stop any kind of political corruption. But sadly, it seems like he has to um, he has to be digested into the system if if he wants to survive, if he wants to swim with the big fishes. So yeah, but I gotta say that um moment. Oh, it's a, a few stops away. Great. Um. <laughs> I was just checking before uh, I I decided to because I'm waiting for a package for those watching on uh, um on YouTube, but um yeah I'll try to wrap this up hopefully before it gets here so yeah but anyways I digress um yeah that sequence when Jace was getting lucky and frisky um mixed with the um hex tech merging it with the blood that was a sequence and a half in terms of like seeing the visuals i've got to say the visuals were really really stunning um especially when uh, jinx was uh, in the boxing fig and she was trying to best her sister score ultimately not prevailing um yeah, there were some really, really amazing and eye-catching visuals. I mean, it's part of the course for Arcane, but some bits stood out um, so much in this episode. But yeah, um, that was a sequence and a half where Jace got on the frisky side and uh, Victor, yeah. Although, I felt so bad for that, um, for that woman who asked Victor out and Vic I mean Victor's so hell bent on trying to improve lives, so you know, you gotta admire his um his determination, but I you you still gotta feel so bad for that woman, right? So um and this is the thing now, I said in episode two that I don't trust Victor whatsoever, that I had suspicions about him. And now it seems like I'm the stupid one for because it seems like um, Victor, he's he's just a uh, he's just a person who's just trying to do right whilst also uh, battling with this illness. And it's uh, Jace who's the one you gotta look out for. Um, although I feel like it's going to be a it, it, it's gonna be a case of it's Dan all over again and Lucifer that he's getting played um, thinking he has to do the right thing but he has to sell his soul in a sense as well so yeah but oh well but uh, yeah it was a very very interesting stuff there uh, we saw Vi and Kate my heart, my heart, uh, especially that ending sequence. But um, she did admit as well that uh, Kate, you know, had the had the appeal for, um, in in Vi's eyes. So yeah, but um, yeah, Vi getting out, wanting some information, of course, um, and learning about what silk what's happened to the Undercity whilst she's been spending time in prison, of course, with Silco taking uh, reign with Vanda's um, absence as well. So, yeah, but um, it was very, very... Uh, it, I, I loved the connectivity with Vi and Kate already. Um, 
this episode pulled no punches in terms of um, showcasing how much chemistry they have. And I'm excited to see what the future lies, uh, what the future has in store for, for both those characters, because I think they're a very, very interesting combination. Um, and both characters who, you know, some would say might need each other as well. So, um, and I feel like both characters will give each other that comfort. It's three stops away. Jeez. Um, so yeah, um, I'm excited to see where that relationship does go. Um, but I gotta say that fight with uh, the um, I think Silco's lieutenant, yeah, was very very intense. I had a feeling Kate would come in to save the day, but um, yeah, um, it was very very intense and um, taking if um uh, with Vi taking a, uh more than just the stabbing, of course. Um, she took a, I guess, a verbal stabbing with the fact that she learned about Jinx and how, um, Silco took her in, and, uh, we'll get onto that in a moment, but, uh, yeah, I really, really loved the, co um, connectivity with, with, um, Vi and Kate, I feel like there is some really, really amazing things to come from them, um, also having a bit of the flashback at the beginning where we had Grayson, uh, back in, of course, um, the flashback form and uh, how um, she had Caitlyn basically uh, enlisted, really. So, um, yeah, so I really, really thought that was uh, pretty, pretty good. And then, of course, we had um, a bit of Marcus as well, who um, so, uh, who is feeling a bit burnt with his dealings with, with Silco, uh, despite the fact that he um, um, lost some good people as with the fact that um, Silco's group got involved and yeah so and again like Jace there is that morality that he is risking especially when I'm assuming that was his daughter um, especially when uh, you gotta think that she's looking up to me etc and I'm uh, having to sell my soul basically and uh, yeah like I said it's a similar kind of scenario to Jace where he has to s basically sell his soul to keep thing to, to not have a target on his back essentially so yeah but um, yeah I, I thought that um uh, there was some very very interesting uh, bits uh, there with Marcus in this episode with um, Vi especially and I feel like there is uh, there is a change in Vi obviously I, I feel like with the events of episode three that's obviously going to be bound to to change you but uh, kind of like how it did with um, Jinx but I think you can really really notice the uh, changes in in Vi's behavior etc with this episode and then going back to episode three, two and one. Um, so yeah, it's very, very, uh, it, it is a very, very, um, interesting, um, it is very, very interesting seeing Vi, of course, in present day, um, and seeing just how she takes no shit. She is done understandably with the fact that she lost Milo, she lost Clagger, um, and Vanda and, Whereas not in the same sense, she did lose her sister as well. And um, it's only going to get pushed further with the fact that um, she has now heard that, oh, Silco sees her as a daughter, basically. So, um, yeah. It's going to be very, very intense when, uh, when Vi and Silco reunite, I guess, because, yeah, heads will be flying, possibly quite literally. Okay, I'm back. So, um, no more interruptions from here onwards. Um, so, let's turn our attention to Jinx because um, it seems like she has been rebaptized um, to cleanse the past and move on to the future, of course. And, uh, yeah, um, we, we were still... Obviously, with the last episode, we were seeing bits and pieces of how the past was affecting her and um, no different with this episode. And now it seems like she can be in a position where she can move forward, especially with that scene post, I guess, the baptism, um, uh, as that showed, really. So, yeah, but um, I, I gotta say, I, I had a... Um, a, a a talk with my ancestra who has also been watching Arcane and um, she was mentioning about the kind of Joker and Harley Quinn kind of dynamic that there was and at first I was a bit uh, I, I was wondering I'm 
hmm. Um, but I think you can see it with that manipulation, as well as the fact, and I know not many people want to talk about, you know, this movie, um, but there is that Suicide Squad uh, moment um, when Joker... I guess, baptizes Harley Quinn. So, and um, here we have um, Silco baptizing um, Jinx so she can move forward in, in terms of um, being uh, being the most she can be, really, rather than being traumatized of the past. So it's just really, really sad going into um, this trauma that, um, that Jinx was still um, suffering because... Um, she obviously was the um with the remnants of her past with the Milo doll, uh, for example. Uh, she is trapped in that loop where she, I guess, relives that day where she accidentally killed Milo and Co. And uh, uh, when she was experimenting with the Hex Tech Crystal, uh, we saw her just break down, reliving that moment. So, and um, you know. <sighs> It is just very, very sad because Silco is um, changing her into a character that, um, like, he, she deserves real, real treatment. And Silco's not that person. He he is, you know, getting to her, manipulating her, using her for um, nefarious intent, etc., and when it comes to Vi and, and, and Jinx, when they inevitably reunite, it's going to go down ugly. Uh, especially when Silco, now that he knows that Vi is alive, Silco's going to encourage Jinx finish her off. Um, because she should have been dead in in um, Silco's eyes. So, I yeah, it's, it's just going to be really, really <sighs> devastating because, like I said... It's going to be a case where Silco's going to push Jinx into forcing her to, to fight Vi and kill her. Um, and she needs, uh, if anything, she she needs, um, I mean, she does need Vi. Vi, uh, there is that guilt from Vi uh, with how she um, reacted in, um, in episode three. And obviously she wants to reconnect uh, with her with with jinx but i think silco has um adopted her uh, and it's uh it's at a point where she is too far in his grasp where it, um you know a simple hug might not suffice etc so um i think the sister that Vi um saw her as has is is long gone and I think the baptism bit kind of signifies that now that Vi can focus on the future with, without reflecting on the past etc as Silka wanted so yeah but um yeah it was really like I said the visuals when she was in the boxing thing that was really really incredible um and I really loved how you had a visual on the scoreboard where uh, I think she was still behind Vi. She was second. Um, and I think that comes as a, uh, uh, that comes as a testament to say you've come so far, but you're not there yet. Cause I'm not sure if um, she is the same age as Vi, um, as uh, Vi was when uh, in the first three episodes. Um, but it would make sense, wouldn't it? And it would sting a lot for, for Jinx where she is so so close but yet so far from from her sister so yeah but um i feel like it's going to be a, um like especially with the fact that silco has taken her to be cleansed of her past um in a sense i feel like it's going to be a different story where she will she might be able to um she might be able to have the advantage on vi i'm not so sure but there is going to be that inevitable encounter and it's going to be that inevitable fight. And there is going to be Silco who is going to encourage, okay, well, well, it, it's almost like she is the last um, tie to your past. So you got, so you got to uh, finish her to fully move on from your past, if that makes sense. So, especially since he was pleased, obviously in learning about Vi's survival. So yeah. 
So I'm going to be emotionally hurt when them two come to trade blows, etc. But um, yeah, like I said, it's a really, really sad situation in terms of um, going into uh, going into Jinx's uh, trauma, etc. And yeah, so and then there's of course Silco who has adopted her as uh, I guess in a sense as uh, as um, his own daughter it, it's it's a, it's a cycle really where because we know that jinx lost her um biological parents vanda took her in vanda died silco took her in and yeah so but there is that nefarious intent like i said with with um with silco and um sadly i think there is that embrace has um turned jinx into someone that um has overwritten the sister that Vi once knew and she might not there might be a case where she might be on the good side again but she will be, she'll have that darkened spirit inside of her if that makes sense because Silco has embraced her so long um and yeah so but yeah really really intense stuff uh with this episode and uh Corruption of foot, um, potential clashes on the horizon. I'm looking forward to seeing what episode six has on offer. So yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing where, um, what four episodes left of Arcane takes us. Um, yeah, this has been a phenomenal show. So also love the I guess little cameo from Imagine Dragons. Um, I'm guessing that was um in the episode so that was pretty pretty fun but yeah what a great episode again arcane is just killing it and uh i'm really looking forward for the next episode but yeah i will see you guys next time hope you guys enjoyed this reaction you can check my videos on the right if you want to check out more of my content you can also subscribe to my media feeds and channel if you want to hope you guys enjoyed this reaction hope you guys take care and i will see you guys next time